Hello, two of his travellers. Welcome back to the best Karima channel here on YouTube. Back on Gunners Glory. Football Manager 24, ladies and gentlemen. Season 2. And it's been kicked off with an up and down bit of form. Well, down and up, technically, as we lose the first game uh, away from home against Manchester City 3-0. They have now beaten us three times in the league. All 3-0. Two times last year. This time, uh, once so far. All three matches in the Premier League against Man City have ended 3-0, which is shambolic. At home, we're doing well, though. We beat Brighton 4-1 and Crystal Palace 4-1, both at home. But then away from home, we dropped three, uh, three goals again uh, in a 4-1 loss to Chelsea. So the home form is good. The away form seems to be struggling. Uh, here today, we kick off away from home uh, at Craven Cottage against Fulham. We need to improve our away form. And then the Champions League kicks off. And, of course, it is the new Champions League format 3 Two, one, with 36 teams uh, kicking off here today. I still don't fully know how this system works. I'm kind of excited because this is my first ever time doing this new um, foundation format, whatever you want to format is the right word for it. So ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up on the video if you're excited. We need Osimhen to get higher than a 6.2 rating today because he's been awful. And let's dive right in. If you and Zhao Nevers are unhappy because they got left out of the champs group, I had to leave, or the registration, I had to leave two people out. I probably should have kept Zhao Neves in, actually, the 19-year-old. But I thought he's 19, you know. He'll get time in the future to be involved instead. I think he can sit out maybe this year. Maybe we can get him in later on. Who knows? We're going to go Kai Havertz, Cam, Smithrow in the middle. Although he's just back from... He's not fully fit. You know what? We'll go Zhao Neves in the midfield, actually. But he's more of a defensive... He's got, he's got 15 passing. He'll be fine as an advanced playmaker. Or even as a Mazala, which we used to use, actually. We'll go Mazala in the middle. Give him his go. Tomoyasu's transfer listed. Let's get him off there. Tomoyasu left back. Uh, let's go. I want to go Timber. Because Timber's unhappy. Because he wants to start more games as well. So let's go ahead and start him. Away from home against Fulham. We need three points. And we need our first away win. To show that we can actually win away from home. Reminder that this video is sponsored by Regents Pro Wrestling. The number one wrestling show in sports entertainment. The most action-packed, immersive and entertaining show on all of YouTube. Watch live every Monday and Friday right here on the Regents Kid YouTube channel. And remember, this is who we are. Surely the form can't continue where we just went at home and just always lose away from home. We need to stop that form right now. We have Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left, Kai Havertz in the camp position. We are playing our technically our home formation with the isometric 4-2-3-1. I did say maybe we'll use the 4-3-3 away from home, but I think Fulham, realistically, home or away, we should be beating a team like Fulham. No disrespect, but we really, really should when we're challenging for the Premier League title, so... I feel confident. Uh, we do have ball playing centre backs, which I don't like anymore. I want them both on centre back because I don't like playing out from the back anymore. It scares me. Awesome end. Ball out to the left. Martinelli up to João Neves. I think his first start in the Premier League. All the balls rolled in. I think it counts as an own goal. It does. 1 0, though. Start we needed. That is really the start we needed. Still don't know about Osimhen being a poacher or an advanced playmaker. I know he prefers poacher, but again, he's been having a lot of 6.2, 6.3 shenanigans. Which I don't like. It's really hard as well. The fact that we have such a, de a deep team now. And the only problem with FM with depth is... Once your team... You know, if your team wins a couple of games, you want to use the same team over and over again. Because they're gelling together. They know the tactic. They know how to play with each other. So then the players that you aren't playing, that you bring off the bench, they start moaning. You know, the Trossards, the Fabio Vieira, the Reese Nelson, Timbers. They start complaining that they're not starting. And it's just so tough because you can't start everyone in the Premier League. So uh, it's always a tough thing trying to balance you know do you play your same team who are working well together or do you bring in new people who are moaning that not playing so it's a tough one trying to rotate I, 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 we're gonna try rotate as much as possible this season we're gonna try rotate as much as possible but uh, there are no promises to anyone i think the main thing we look at is form you know if, if a player's on form they're gonna get game time can we focus down the left and work the ball into the box? I feel like we're not utilizing our wingers well enough. I don't like that Fulham are getting a lot of chances. Force a long shot. David Rea, good save. Rea out to Tim. See, those are the kicks I want from... We, I don't want to play to the center backs, even though we go back to them. I want to get out to the wings from goal kicks and when David Rea has the ball because he has good passing. I want to get out to the wings as soon as possible. Kai Havertz in the box. Run the defense. Has to be... Oh, he's gone wide of the target. Eight shots, one on target is not ideal in an away game. 
one shot on target, which was our... Uh, it wasn't even our goal, actually. The goal was an own goal. What ball I left, though. Martinelli, the counter-attack of Dreams. He cuts inside. Surely has to be. Third goal. Kai Havertz gets the assist. And Gabriel Martinelli gets the goal. 2-0 against the run of play. Fulham have been knocking. Arsenal score again. We score again. And then Bakayo Saka. Just a groin injury. Hopefully he's okay. Now, oh, I want to go Jesus out on the right. But at the same time, Fabio Vieira, his match sharpness is going down. We're going to bring on Fabio Vieira. Get his match sharpness up again. William Saliba's tired, actually. Let's take him off for Scalvini before anything bad happens. Center back, cover. Second half, we're going to go with a advanced forward because Poacher clearly is not working. I don't know what the issue is with Osimhen. I, I, uh, he's always been good on FM before. He's a great striker. He has great stats. He's just... I don't know what it is. I really, really don't. He's just not getting in scoring positions. He's not finishing the chances he gets. He's not really been worth £86 million in these first five matches. We'll see if he can score in the second half, though. Martinelli gives the ball away. Awobi, former Arsenal man with the interception. And with the goal, Alex Awobi. That's one thing. I, I said it last episode, and I'm going to try not to get annoyed this episode. The passing on this game. Like, I get sometimes a player misplaces a pass, but it, it seems to happen every single time to us. It's just me as well. It never happens against us. Awesome, man. Oh, my God. It just happens like our, our players just don't know how to pass the ball. They keep giving away possession. Time and time again, and I don't understand it. Problem with Osterman too, if we do end up trying to sell him next year or the year after, if he does stink, his transfer value is going to plummet because he does not have an 86 mil release clause anymore. So, I mean, I, I didn't want to say I thought he was going to be our striker for the next, you know, five years um, in this Arsenal team, but maybe he's just off to a slow start. It will be in the box again. This guy's the shot. Come on, boys. We need another goal. Don't let them score from a corner. Luca back to Reem. Out to Reed. Diop. Alex Iwobi, Reem. Oh, lovely football. Is that Lorenzo Luca? Surely he's offside, but they actually signed Lorenzo Luca. How much did they... 13 mil. He didn't play last year. I mean, he's on a 6.2 in his first game, but I remember last year, FM23, Lorenzo Luca was one of the best strikers you could sign. Half an hour left to play. He was surely offside. Oh, my... He was not offside. Oh, my God. It's 2-2. Right, Jesus up top. Jesus up top. With Kai Havertz. Um, oh, I mean, what do we even do here? Bring Decker's Rice up. Decker's is knackered. We'll bring on Odegaard for the playmaking. Smith Rowe alongside him. This is shocking. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely shocking. 2-2. Two, two. It's just our way form. Another stinker from Osimhen. And our away form is absolutely diabolical. We, 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 the league title's already gone. Aston Villa are top with Man City. I don't understand what is happening away from home. I really don't. And look, the entire second half has come and gone. The entire second half has come and gone. Martinelli. Other than his goal, he's had a stinker. Back out to Gabriel. Into the middle. Gabriel Jesus off the bench. Ben White. Kai Havertz. Oh, he's offside. Flag is up first of the season. Their goal got awarded. I guarantee ours does not because VAR hates us. I don't know what's happening this season. Disallowed. We was not this bad last season. We was not this bad. Oh, I've pushed everyone up. We've pushed everyone up for one more attack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've pushed everyone up, ladies and gentlemen. We have two cams at centre mid. We have Fabio Vieira helping out the defence. Why do I feel like Fulham are going to get a late winner? At Craven Cottage. It's too late for a counter-attack. Oh. Surely. Surely. Surely offside. Surely. Has to be, right? Has to be offside. A 2-2 draw is still shocking, though. We still haven't won away from home. I could punch something right now, man. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I don't know what's happening. We need an away tactic, because I don't know what is happening. Sack it out for seven weeks. Nice. Aston Villa beat Man City 2-1. Aston Villa are actually looking serious this year. What is the issue? Um, who's this about? Oh, is that about Timber playing games? Okay, he's your managerial support. Not great right now. I don't really blame them. I mean, I'm just doing what I can. The team's not performing. I don't know what to say. We have three home games in a row. 
which is where we feel comf uh, comfortable. But if we're not winning away from home, I don't know what I can do. We have the Champions League kicking off. Let's see what we can do then. Lost all trust in the manager, Erdegaard. Brother! Relax, man. Gonna give Ramsdale another go in goal. Uh, I mean, Jesus and Osiman have both been awful. They really have. Nelson's still asking to leave. Um, I mean, again, I really like him. I wanted to start... Do, do we... You know what, champion, we're going to start him. He's still asking to... Surely, once an initial agreed playing time, let's see if he can lose his unhappiness. Trossard as well wants to start... You know what, again... We'll start both of them if they're, if they're complaining. You know what? Martinelli go up top. Awesome, man. I'm sick and tired of you. Martinelli up top. Tross on the left. Reese Nelson on the right. Declan Rice and Odegaard. Little CDMs. Uh, inverted wing backs on support. But again, surely they should play like reverse. Like that. But he doesn't know how to play that. We'll try inverted wing backs for Ben White and Kieran Tierney and see how we do. Champions League at home. The new format is upon us. Three home games in a row. We just got to keep winning. Again, we, we, we just have to find our tactics. We're unsure on tactics right now. I feel like last year we used a 4-2-3-1 a lot. And right now I feel like we're just unsure as to what our tactic actually is. Oh, they have Borja Iglesias. I have this guy on my West Ham online save with my friends. He was my top goal scorer for West Ham. And this world, he's not doing as good last year. We're messing around a lot of isometric. Do we just go back to basics? Do we go to a two up top formation? Osimhen and Jesus up top together. Or do we keep it out with the isometric? I, I don't know. I really, really don't. I want to focus through the middle. That's one thing I do know. Underlaps from both of them. And get the win in the Champions League. This Champions League format is interesting. It's intriguing. 36 teams. I'm interested to see how it goes. Here's Reese Nelson. Wants more game time. Lovely ball up Martinelli. Ball into the middle, Deckers. Out of guard. 20 minutes gone. Champions League football at Emirates Stadium. Of course, last year we was in the final... Of this competition, Declan Rice all the way across. Ben White, inverted wing back. Maybe that's what we needed. First goal of the season. What a finish. Deck is with the assist. The Segunde Valente roll pushes up again, uh, as well, which I love. Two roles I barely use. Segunde Valente and Regista. Both, you know, CDMs together, but they roam around the pitch. And they utilize that central mid position, that CDM position. Maybe this is the formation we needed. Because Declan Rice is also good defensively. To help out as well. Ben White still out on the wing, which I love Martinelli. Ben White with a golden assist. Inverted wing back might be the way. Martinelli striker might be the way. 2-0. But again, we know we can win at home. Can we do this away? We're going to use the same tactic away from home. And hopefully works the same. Great start. We just need to make sure morale is good. Once morale is good, then life is good. Once morale goes bad on FM. Yeah, long day getting it back, my friends. Long day. That's why I don't like unhappy players. Because bad morale on FM basically means have fun losing all of your matches. Rodri on the left. Looks for the cross in. Ramsdale. Oh, Ramsdale stinks, man. I'm done with this guy. Get Raya in. Get Raya in. Get Raya in. Is Raya on the bench? Get Raya in. Get Raya in. I'm done with this guy, Ramsdale. Last year, he was our, he was our number one. He was our best keeper. Yeah, nah. Nah. Raya over, man. Ramsdale. I don't know what's happened. Season two, Ramsdale is not it. He stinks. Mikel Arteta said in real life, he might be that guy who subs the goalkeeper. Guess what? 2v is that guy. Get him out of there. Smith Rogan tackle. Martinelli was gone. Reese Nelson, an assist will make you feel better about starting. Oh, bad cross. Martinelli makes the best out of a bad situation. What? Offside. Look, he was behind the defender. He was so far behind the defender. Thank you. Jesus Christ. They're trying to stitch us up, man. They're trying to stitch us up. Martinelli. Martinelli brace up front, by the way. Second half, I'm going to bring on... Uh, I'm going to bring on Osimem. Try boost. Try... We know we're 3-1 up at home. Let's see if we can get some goals. We're going to go Martinelli on the left. We're going to go... Oh, Tierney's having a stinker. We'll go for... We'll go for Timber to get his sharpness up. Um, In the middle, we'll bring on Weefer, who can play the Regista role. And Kai Havertz for Smith Rowe. Good substitutions. Again, the depth in the Champions League is what we like. It's what we like. Tierney Rice, Martinelli, get a hat-trick before you go to the left. Oh, he bought... If Osman can't score again, you know... Havertz, is he on side? Oh, I bet he's off. Osman scores. I guarantee it's offside. I think Osman has like three or four offside goals this season already. Like he's going to lead the league in disallowed goals. Victor Osman disallowed. Remember giving the ball away again? Oh, the passing, man. The passing. Ben White's had a blinder of a game. Blinder. Rice, 
Osimhen on his left. Oh, what a finish. Oh, if they just keep getting away with this. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lords. Victor Osimhen scores a goal from open play. How are Anderlecht above us? What's their score? Anderlecht are only winning 3 0. Oh, I guess because we've conceded. Last minute, make it 5 1 to be top of the Champions League. Osimhen, lovely touch. Yeah, this guy's. This is not the Osimhen from last year. We take a 4 1 win, though. We take a 4 1 win. First game in the Champions League. Trying to get to the finals again, eh? Trying to get back to the finals. Three. Oh, no, that's in the AFL Cup, sorry, but home games in the Premier League. Back to back. Gonna keep the same tactic. Gonna keep the same formation. David Ray is starting in goal because Rams Dilly Dale. Oh boy, you 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 stink a little bit, my friend. You stink just a little bit. Give your unhappy. Uh, left out of Champions League. He's not my first choice defender anyway, so that is a okay. I'm tempted to have a, a five back formation, like a three back formation. Maybe two up top with a cam. Maybe like four. Maybe even centre mids. Maybe two attacking. Maybe CDMs work. A little control possession. Two up top. I don't know. High press though. I like pressing. High line. I mean, it's. I mean, we're at home. Do we test at home? It could be risky. Uh, only having three at the back. But I know Saliba. Right, you can be. Gabriel prefers to be in the middle of a three-man grouping. Ooh. I'd rather you not be in the middle, if I'm honest. Um. Because I know they like being wide centre backs. The main job is to stop the attack. The wide centre backs are wide areas. Two wide centre backs, a ball playing. Should we try it? Should we try it? I might try it. It's at home. I might try it. We could train Dedic left mid if needed, or centre back, wide centre back, to be fair. Probably makes more sense. Because I'm sure Ben White is a good wide centre back as well. Yeah, if needed. I want to give them a game up top together. Osimhen. Oh, he's unhappy about something. Osimhen and Jesus. I want to give them a shot up top together. Two up top formation. Let's see how it goes. Whether or not it works, I don't know. I know we're chopping and changing a lot, but we're controlling possession. This is all about possession-based football. Uh, home against Brentford. At a guard corner. We have goal scorers in there. Saliba missing out. Martinelli? No. Kai Havertz, get further forward. On the right-hand side, he's a wide playmaker. You're going to stay wide. Cut inside with the ball. Thank you. Come on, Arsenal. Come on, you gunners. Great ball. Martinelli is on side, though. Jesus, he missed anyway. Smith Rowe through ball. Martinelli, who's been our best player today, continues to do so. Sixth of the season. He has been so, 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 so damn good. Martinelli on the left-hand side. Oh, referee. Push. Easy push. You can see it from behind. God, I love the match engine this year. So yeah, home are comfortable. Even if we change formation, the two wide centre-backs are on a plus 7.0 as well. You can see at the bottom. Maybe wide centre-back is good this year. Odegaard taking over Osman and Jesus. Martin Odegaard, the captain, sends him the wrong way. 2-0 at home. Again, even if we change formation, we're having good, good, good results. I do like this formation. The wide centre-backs are covering the full-back area. Defe look. Saliba, he's a he's a right centre back, but he's playing right back, technically. And if we zoom all the way out, you look. Gabriel's occupying that left centre back role. Martinelli has his whole place to himself, and then Kai Havertz can push all the way up here on the counter attack. Now he's playing like a right winger. Pass across or go for goal, unlucky. But yeah, I'm liking it. We've been solid. Def I know it's against Brentford, not really. You know, I want to see how it works against big teams. Would it work away is another question, or is this just a home tactic? Martinelli ball in. Osimhen open goal. He scores again, fourth of the season. Is he heating up? If he does, it's game over for the league. Odegaard in the Regista role. He learned it now, so he really, really, really likes it. Declan Rice. I'm going to change to the Segunde Valente, which he's been learning as well. Off the post and cleared. Declan Rice. Oh, well, I was just going to say, we're playing a lot of matches recently, so I want to make some subs. Uh, Kieran Tierney. I don't know why I said to put him on. Jean Neves. Can play the Segunde Valente role perfectly. Odegaard a bit tired. We'll bring on Weefer. We know he can play the Regista. Two more. Um, yeah, see, Jesus still still struggled. We could go Havertz. You know what? Havertz up top. Trossard on the right. Uh, Trossard can't play on the right. Right midfield. Uh, so we're going to have to go Reese Nelson. Sorry, Tross. That is tough luck. I want to see Kai Havertz up top with us, men. I like this formation. We can rotate. We have depth everywhere. We have rotations. I like this tactic. 
And I think we're going to use it. I might try it away from home. Odegaard before he goes off with a free kick. No. New midfielders on. Joining Martinelli. Still 3 0. Good clearance out Havertz. The three centre backs have been amazing. Looks no one over there to cover him, though. Good finish. Good finish. He was wide open. We had to have someone on in there. That was poor defensively, but it's okay. It's still a new tactic. We haven't fully learned how to play it yet, so any anything off that we see off right now, I'll let them off. You know? I will let them off. Kai Havertz can get some rest. Get Trossard up top. Reese Nelson, no. Let's get Trossard up top. Give him some game time. I know he wants to start matches, but I'm sure he'll still be happy coming off the bench. Osman. Oh, he would have been gone with that pace. Ten minutes left to play. Can we maybe get a 4-1? Keep the press on. I do not want to see a 3-2. If possible. I really do not want to see a 3-2. Oh, that's going to be a red. Saliba. That is going to be a red. Right, we have luckily one sub left. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, Smith Rowe is unfortunately going to have to be the man to be replaced. Uh, we'll bring on Timber. We'll move Trossard down to a attacking midfield role. End it like that. Maybe a lower line of engagement as well. Ten men. With ten minutes. I don't like this. Because if they score now, there's no time for an equaliser. Oh boy, Ivan Tony. And all of a sudden, seven minutes added. All of a sudden, this ten men is not looking fun. Um, focus. From the boys. And we just managed to hold on 3-2. Could have got a bit nippy there. The fact that we had 20 shots. 3.6 XG. Dominated them. Nine shots off target. But we just about held on. A nice little three match episode. We are currently eighth in the Premier League. Six points off Aston Villa by the way. Who have not lost a single game under Unai Emery. They did bring in Ezekiel Barco. A very, very... Uh, oh, I was thinking of a different Barco. Still a very decent player. They brought in Joshua Zert, uh, Xerxes. I think is how you say it. 23 years of age. Striker. Other than that, not... Uh, they, they have Tammy. Is Tammy still there? Or is he on loan? Tammy's still there. They brought him for 10 mil. He scored five goals in six appearances. Tammy Abraham and Angel Correa. Clearly doing wonders for them. They've won all... They, they beat City. I mean, to be fair, they haven't had the hardest fixtures. But even still, we need to fix up. Win the Champions League as well. As we continue, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you in the next episode of Gunners Glory. Much as always. Take care and peace. Uh, and also, before you leave... Before you leave... Uh, click on one of these two videos. I think they're like up here. That left and right. They're somewhere on the screen right. <laughs> they are. Yeah, there you go. Click click on click on one of them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you click on one of the videos, um, you can move on to the next one. Make sure you stay on this channel though. Regents Kid channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. 50,000 around the corner. One of these. Hey. You know.